Well, in recent years, we've come to recognize that what we used to call our pets are really our friends, and they give us comfort and most of all, affection. So we try to return that affection, but are we doing it the right way? That's a good question. And to answer that, let's check in with Lisa DeSatnik, a certified dog trainer and owner of So Much Pet Hencho. Thank you so much for joining us, Lisa. Oh, Mona, it's so good to be with you again. Yes, we love it when you're here. So we alluded to this already, but your dog doesn't necessarily like hugs, right? No. And you know what? And I see that so much. You see that on YouTube and you see that in photos. But no, dogs really do, don't like that. They may tolerate it, but they don't. And what's going to happen is you're going to start to see some stress signs, like the dog leaning away or looking away or yawning or doing a lick lip. Um, those are signs that your dog's not enjoying it. And the thing is, is if your dog's not enjoying it, he's not going to be want to be around you all the time. So it's important, especially to teach young kids that we don't want to be hugging your, our dog. We want to be sitting next to the dog and helping your dog feel very comfortable and safe. And, uh, and that way your dog's going to want to be around you a lot more. Lisa, that is really interesting um, because I think a lot of people didn't know that, including me. So what's something that we can do or give our pets to make them happy? Absolutely. So lots of enrichment. And now, you know, it's difficult because it's so cold outside for walks. But there's so many things that you can do indoors to help your dog to have enrichment. Um, you can do scent games with your dog. You can give your dog puzzle toys to work for, for the food. Mm -hmm. You can do training in positive ways. That's mental games, and that is absolutely good exercise for your dog. We also wanna make sure that your dog is feeling safe. So that's gonna help your dog to feel happy. Make sure that you understand your dog's stress, stress signals so that you're doing things that your dog really enjoys and you're paying attention to use things that your dog really likes to do. So that way he's gonna have quality of life and you're gonna have a stronger relationship for it. Really good information, Lisa. So we also want positive behavior from our dogs. So how do we promote that? Absolutely. A few things. Uh, number one is, uh, you know, um, we want to make sure that our dog's needs are being met. So again, we go back to that enrichment. Uh, you know, your dog's going to be making choices. If he's very happy working on a puzzle toy, he's not going to be thinking about uh, going up and begging from you when you're at the kitchen sink and doing other things. So really think about that enrichment tool. The other thing is management. So we want to try to do all that we can to prevent our dog from practicing things that we don't like so that we can be focused on teaching our dog what you do like and building lots of value for that. Um, a training in positive ways with positive reinforcement making training fun and engaging for your dog, the training should be the highlight of your dog's day. If not, we need to look at changing something because really we want it to be fun and something that your dog looks forward to. So those are some different ways to help your dog to be happy around you. All right, Lisa, I've got just a few seconds left and I wanna make sure people know how to connect with you. Well, I've got a website. It's www.somuchpetential, like potential, but with an E for pet. I'm also on Facebook, look up So Much Potential, and on Instagram. So I'd love to connect with you there. And definitely All reach right. out if you have help. Okay, Lisa, thank you so much for talking to us. It's been great. We appreciate it. Oh, thanks again for having me.